Who will do, tiddly peeps? I'm Hubba Hubba, talking to you from Hoobland, and I'm about to send four of my favourite hoobs down to Earth to find out all about you for my great Hoobopedia. Here they come! You know who the hoobs are? Ivor! Groot! And Tula! We're hoobs! And they're ready to go. Now the wheels are turning, we can all get learning All the things we want to know Hey! Hubba Hubba's in Hoobland And Roma's somewhere far away The motorettes are singing We keep the engine spinning Hoop Hoop Hooray! The Hoobla Bill is coming your way Oh here we come! Uh, well hey! The hoops are here, so yes. what do you say? Hoops! No, no, that's not it. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't find Harry Hugh and the Hoobets anywhere. Well, you should stack them up, Groove, mm. one on top of the other. Yeah. Like this. <gasps> You've got Hoob Life! I love Hoob Life! Yeah, me too, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you liked the smashing hoob nibs. Yeah, loads. Uh, <laughs> actually, Tula, uh, d don't stack them up, because then I can't see which CD is which. I can oh. only see the top one. <laughs> oh, move your paw. Yeah. Ah, oh, hoob say. No, I want to listen to Harry Hugh and the Who Bets. Harry Who? Who? Harry who? Harry Hugh. Harry Hugh and the Who Bets. They're my favourite band. I've never heard of them. Th never heard of them? But you must have, Ivor. They're really hooby groovy. I'll play you some, if I can find them. Groove, why don't you put your CDs away properly? Because every time I put them away properly, I can't find the one I want. Huh. You can't find the one you want now. Yeah. Hmm. How can Groove store his CDs so he can find the one he wants? Hubba, 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 hubba. That's it, Tula. You've hit the question. How can Groove store his CDs so that he can find the one he wants? Oh, what an excellent question. And one I'm sure every who will want to know the answer to, especially me. <laughs> Why's that, Hubba Hubba? Do you like Harry Hugh and the Who Bets too? No, I'm more of a shaken hoobs fan myself. Anyway, I've got Auntie Hattie coming over for tea and I was going to treat her to my biggest hoob nip. <laughs> but I can't find it anywhere. Now, if I had a better way of storing my hoob nips, I'm sure I'd find it straight away. Uh, yes, um, 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 back on the subject of storing CDs, Hubba Hubba. What, what? Oh, yes. Of course, here you are. You can start by looking at what I found on Hoobnet. Now look, Hoobs, those lady peeps are packing things away in boxes, do you see? Yeah. Boxes look hoobacious for storing things, don't they, Hoobs? Wooden boxes, cardboard boxes. Look, you can even store bottles of water in boxes. How fantabby Hoobie. I think I might get some boxes myself, you know. <laughs> ah, <laughs> found him. Here's Harry Hugh. <laughs> Could I play it to you now, either? No, Groove. We must test out some boxes to see if that's the best way to store your CDs. Well, of course it isn't. Why? Why? Because if I put all these in a box, I'm still not going to be able to find the one I'm looking for. They'll all just get muddled up. Oh, dear. Roma, Roma. Oh, it's Roma. Maybe she's found a better way to store things. Oh, we'll do poops. Um, Roma, are you there? Hoobie-galoobie. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's better. Where are 
you, Roma? Well, Tula, I'm reporting from inside a wardrobe. A wardrobe is a great big box that peeps used to store their clothes in. Ah, but, um, Roma, we already know about boxes. And they won't work. Mm. Aha! But when peeps put their clothes in a wardrobe, they hang them on one of these. Oh, what's that? It's called a coat hanger, Iva. But you don't have to hang a coat on it. It works just as well for shirts, tops, jackets, blouses, you name it. You can't put a CD on a coat hanger, Roma. Well, no. But maybe you could find some other way of hanging up your CDs. Because the other wonderful thing about hanging things up is that you can see exactly what you've got. Let me show you. Now, imagine if you were looking for this fantabby hoobie red jacket from... <laughs> oh, hoobie bother! Well, imagine first that it hasn't fallen on my head. You'd be able to find it easily if it were hanging up with the other clothes. Oh, uh, uh, hanging up is herbaceous. Oh, poor Roma. Oh, don't worry, Tula. I'm quite all right. This is Roma Hoob under a jacket. Hoobal Toodle do. Hoobal Toodle do. Oh. oh. Right, we've got to hang up Groove CDs, then he'll be able to see them at a glance. OK, but how? Maybe Hubba Hubba knows how. I found my special hoob nip hoobs. In my hooby pod. Oh. <laughs> if I could hang up my hoob nips, sleeping would be so much more comfortable. But we don't even know how to hang CDs up, Hubba Hubba, let alone hoob nips. Well, why don't you go and ask the tiddly peeps? The tiddly peeps, of course. Oh, I'll go, I'll go. Come on then, Tula. Seat belt. Seat belt. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. Yeah. We're off to see the tiddly peeps On the road we go We're off to see the tiddly peeps They're small, they're fun, they know The tiddly peeps, the tiddly peeps Help us find things out They give us clues, they tell us news That's what they're all about It's what they're all about Tiddly peeps, the tiddly peeps, if we need to know Who, what, where, why, when and how, we'll ask them off we go We're off to see the tiddly peeps, on the road we go We're off to see the tiddly peeps, they're smart, they're fun, they know Who doop, tiddly peep? Who will doop, Tula? Do you want to do a hoobie hello? Yes Who will doop, who will doop, whoop, whoop, whoop why have you got all those clothes in that basket? They've just been washed. Hmm. So what are you going to do with them now? Hang them up to dry. Yeah. Hang up. <gasps> hanging up! Hoobie Galoobie! We've been trying to find out about hanging up. So how do you hang up wet things? You hang them on this line and then the wind dries them. Right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but they're clothes. So that means you're going to use a hanger, aren't you? No, we don't use hangers on a washing line. Oh, well, then... How do you keep them from blowing away? You use these clothes pegs. <gasps> clothes pegs? Hoobie galoobie. Oh, they're just like hoobie pegs. Wait a minute. That's a good idea. Why didn't we think of it before? Find the hoobie pegs, Ivor. We can peg up Groove CDs. I certainly will, Tula. Thank you, Tiddly Peep. I've got to get back to the hoobmobile now, but... Have fun hanging out your washing. Hoobble toodle do! Hoobble toodle do! Ah, uh, shall I listen to track five? Track <laughs> four? <four? laughs> track three? Track two or track one first? Track five is really my favourite. But then I do like track two. There! Oh, and Groove! One bag of hoobie pegs! 
Hey, mm? hoobly groobly washing line, Ivor. Oh, yes, thank you. OK, so we know that pegging up is the answer to the question. <laughs> now can we play my Harry Hugh CD? Ah, oh, in a minute, Groove. First, we have to test it out, remember? <sighs> Reds, greens, yellows, blues, peg them up, peg them up. The shaking hoops and the hairy hues, peg them up, peg them up, peg them up where you choose. Peg them up, peg them up. These are things you'll never lose. Peg them up, peg them up. This way of storing is divine. Pegging on a washing line. Every hoobacious CD will be hung up for you to see. You can choose them by colour. Oh, pick them by name. You never need think any two are the same. I think the problem with pegs just might be they will squeeze a bit too tightly. They may scratch my hooby sounds. I think we'd better take them down. I'd like to get things sorted out, but I'm filled with hooby doubt. For all your efforts, friends I fear, we have to stop this song right here. So, how are we going to hang up the CDs? <gasps> I've got an idea. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look, if we thread the washing line through the middle of the CD and then tie the washing line up again, all the CDs will still be on the line, but without the pegs pinching them. Tula, you are a genius. Reds, greens, yellows, blues, thread them up, thread them up. The shaking hooves and the hairy hues, thread them up, thread them up. You can thread them where you choose, thread them up, thread them up. Thread them up, how can you lose? Thread them up, thread them up. It can feel so enterprising, spending who be time dividing, who bacious ways of organising. With results that are surprising. Put them through the hole in the middle. When you need to find them, you won't have to fiddle. Looks like the who be washing line has solved the problem just in time. We should try what we've suggested. This nice device must be tested. Well, you should be able to find your hairy hoob CD now, Groove. Yeah. Hoob say, hoob zone, hooberphonics, hoob life, shaking hoobs, hoob club three, hairy hue. <laughs> Hoobacious. Now you can play it to us. Hoobie groovy. <laughs> oh, it won't come off. You have to unthread it from the end. Hmm? The end? Uh, the end, the end, the end. Ah, right, OK. Uh, like this. <laughs> oh! oh, oh. Harry Hugh! Oh, did anyone see where it landed? Hmm. What we need is something that keeps the CDs tidy, lets you find the one you're looking for, and lets you take one CD off at a time. Hubba! Hubba! It's Hubba! Hubba! This hanging idea is hoobble doobble dooper for my hoob nips. <laughs> How are you getting on, Groove? Oh, don't ask, Hubba Hubba. Just don't ask. Ooh, as bad as that, is it? Yeah. Well, have a look at a story I found on Hoobnet. It might just help you. Anila had an old woolly coat called Connor. They would go out in the cold and rain together, and Connor would always keep Anila warm and dry. But there was one thing that Connor didn't like. Whenever they got in from their walks, he was never hung up with all the other coats. Anila couldn't reach the coat stand, oh dear. so she hung him on the doorknob. Oh, I do wish I could be hung up like everyone else, sighed Connor. Don't be ridiculous, said Vera, a very expensive tweed coat. You're far too old and dirty to be hung on a hook with us, said Alan the anorak. It's not fair, said Connor. Then, one day, Anila hung him on the doorknob and <gasps> it broke off. <sighs> Poor old Connor fell in a heap on the floor. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> You're not even good enough to hang on a doorknob now, said Alan. No, the place for you is in a heap on the floor. <laughs> When Anila's dad saw what had happened, he said, We'll get you a hook, especially for your coat, Anila. A hook that you can reach. <laughs> and so Anila's dad went and got a hook. A special hook with a sticky back to stick it to the wall. And from that day on, Connor was always hung on his special hook that was just the right height for Anila. 
I've got my own hook, he said proudly. I want a hook of my own, snapped Vera. So do I, moaned Alan. It's not fair. <laughs> Sticky hooks, eh? Oh, what a hoobacious idea. <sighs> Hoobnet is so hoobly groobly. I've got hoob loads of sticky hooks here. Oh, let's try one out. Uh, let's stick it um, here. The shaking hoops and the hairy hues. Hook them up, hook them up. Oh, the hooks are too big and they won't go through. The, the hooks are too big, big and they won't go through. Yes, the hooks are too big and they won't go through. Well, we're all stuck. What shall we do? The, the hooks are too, too big, big and they won't go through. I know what's wrong. We need thinner hooks. Oh, perhaps we could make some. Oh, yeah. But how? How, how, how. How, how, how. How, 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 how. Well, I don't know how, but I bet the tiddly peeps do. They're hoobble doobble dooper at making things. Of course. Let's go and see the tiddly peeps. I'll go this time. Oh, and I'll drive you. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. On the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. They're small, they're fun, they know. The tiddly peeps, the tiddly peeps, help us find things out. They give us clues, they tell us news. That's what they're all about. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. On the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. They're small, they're fun, they know. Hoobble doop, tiddly peeps. Hoobble doop, Gray. <laughs> Hooby galooby, you chilli peeps are really good at making things. Thanks, Grieve. <laughs> do you think you could make me something? Of course. What sort of thing do you need? Well, it needs to be shaped like a hook. We can do that. You can? Hooby groovy. <laughs> oh, yeah, but it has to be small enough to go through the middle of a CD. That's OK, too. Really? Well, how are we going to do that? We can make you some hooks out of pipe cleaners. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Do you hear that, Ivor, Tula? These tiddly peeps are going to make us some hooks out of pipe cleaners. Yes. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> what are pipe cleaners? These are. They're really bendy. And you can make them into any shape you like. Oh, of course. Something bendy. That's what we need to make hooks. What? Oh. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> there you are, Groove. Look at those hooks. They're perfect for hanging up CDs. <laughs> Ivor, yes. Tula, hmm? order some pipe cleaners from Hoobnet right away. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. of course I will. Go, peeps. go. That's all right, Grave. I'm going to get back to the Hoobabeel right now to hang up my CDs. Hoobble toodle do. Hoobble toodle do. <laughs> These pipe cleaners are hoobly groobly. Yeah, they're hoobly groovy. <laughs> Let's test them out then. Groove, pass us your hairy hue CD. All right. <laughs> well, it seems to work. And if we bend a hook into the other end of the pipe cleaner, we can hang a hook on a hook. <laughs> and hang up the shaking hoob CD. Oh, yes. <laughs> and the Hoob Life CD. That's right. Hoobie Groovy. This is the answer. Hoob, hoob, hoob hooray! Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. How are we going to hang the chain up? Um... Well, we could, um... Ah! Oh, no, it's nearly time for Hoob News! Oh, <laughs> calm down, either. I've got it. <laughs> now, then... <laughs> <laughs> now I can listen to Harry Hugh. <laughs> Sorry, Groove, but it'll have to wait. Into the Hoobie studio. Come on. 
Tim and Twang and all the gang were searching for something on which they could hang. A polishing rag from the engine room. They're sure to find a place to hang it soon. They haven't got a washing line. A washing line would be just fine. It is a bit of a shame. It's a terrible drag. Because they can't find a place to hang the polishing rag. Tootle and Twang and all the gang couldn't find anywhere where Yes, they found a great big hook. Oh, that's a perfect. Mm, very nice. Phew. Don't they look hoobble doobble dooper? Of course, the trouble is, I don't want to give any of my big hoob nips to Auntie Hattie now. I just want to dangle them all day. <laughs> so, are you ready, hoobs? We're ready, Hubba Hubba. Then take it away. Whoop! To all you hoobs out there, welcome to Hoob News, the new show for hoobs everywhere. I'm Ivor. I'm Tula. And I'm Groove. And today we've been asking the question... How can Groove store his CDs so he can find the one he wants? First, Hubba Hubba showed us how the peeps keep lots of things in boxes. But I knew that the CDs would just get all muddled up in a box. Then Roma told us about peeps hanging their clothes up on coat hangers. And this gave us the idea of hanging my CDs up. So Tula went to ask the tiddly peeps and they gave us the idea of using hooby pegs. But I wasn't happy about pegging Harry Hugh up. I thought the CD might get scratched. I think the problem with pegs just might be they will squeeze a bit too tightly. They may scratch my hooby sounds. I think we'd better take them down. I'd like to get things sorted out, but I'm filled with hooby doubt. For all your efforts, friends I fear, we have to stop this song right here. So we tried to thread them up. It can feel so enterprising Spending who be time dividing Who bacious ways of organising With results that are surprising Put them through the hole in the middle When you need to find them you won't have to fiddle Looks like the who be washing line Has solved the problem just in time We should try what we've suggested This nice device must be tested But you couldn't take just one CD off Without getting in a mess when we saw the story, we realised that a hook would be the perfect way to store Groove CDs. But the hook was too big and it wouldn't go through the hole in the middle. Oh, the hooks are too big and they won't go through. The, the hooks, hooks are too, too big, big and they, they won't, won't go, go through. Yes, the hooks are too big and they won't go through. Well, we will stand. What shall we do? The, the hooks, hooks are too big and they won't go through. So Groove went to see the Tiddly Peeps again. And they showed us how to make hooks out of bendy pipe cleaners. And now I can find the CD I'm looking for whenever I want. What a marvellous invention! So it's thanks once again to Ivor, Tula, Groove and Roma for giving hoobs everywhere a little peep into the world of peeps. And remember, wherever you are, have a nice day, hang loose and hoobble toodle do Hoobble toodle do Right then, I've been waiting to hear this all day. Has anyone seen my CD player? Um, no, no Groove. No? That... Oh... <laughs> And Rome is somewhere far away The motorettes are singing We keep the engine spinning Hoop, hoop, hooray! The hoop is coming your way Oh, here we come!